Bro, if my kids ever pull something like this, man, this movie has me yelling at my non-existent future children. This was a wild finish. The Lie is a thriller film from 2018 you may have missed. 5.8 on IMDb, 42% on Rotten, 1.5 out of 5 on IndieWire. But you actually need to watch this movie just for the ending. The Lie is not going to impress you visually or with its sound. It's produced by Blumhouse Television, which meant that this film had promise at some point. And it's also based on a German novel, We Monsters, you likely have never heard of. The performances are solid, nothing insanely memorable, and those critic scores, while a bit harsh, are relatively accurate. The lie won't have you on the edge of your seat trying to figure out what's going on, but you will be asking questions. One of them being, am I wasting my time? And the lie is written so well or so badly that at some point you may be convinced that you are, only to get that jaw-dropping ending. There's so much emotion and tension in the air that you could literally cut through it. The lie is about well, you guessed it, uh, a lie that someone tells that changes the lives of multiple people. The lie makes you question how far someone would go to protect someone they love in multiple phases. I'm playing the vague game here because I don't want to spoil it if you haven't watched it. It's not going to knock your socks off. There are definitely better thriller movies out there, but give this one the time of day. Even if you don't like the ending, it's at least worth the investment. And honestly, that's the end of the review. I can't really talk about the details without spoiling it. It's on Amazon Prime. Go watch it. It's 97 minutes. I'd watch it again just to see a friend's reaction who's never seen it before. Personally, I'd like to give it a 5 out of 10, but I'd still recommend at least one to watch because the audacity of this child. You know what? Let me stop.